Okay guys, so we're back. So let me just show you exactly what I did off camera. I put my spandex cap on, but I used one of my NYX Jumbo pencils. Um, I just used the silver one, I think it's with pots and pans. And all I did was take this NYX pencil and I marked at the top of the spandex dome cap where I'm going to put my closure. Why is that important? Because you don't want to go and sew, because you know, sometimes these mannequin heads can be really, really small, like mine's is small, so it doesn't fit exactly the way it fits on my head. So it's kind of like you're customizing exactly where you want your closure, because what you don't want to do is start to sew your dome cap, and then you put your closure here, all the way at the front, and then you realize when you put this on, that your closure is where your bangs are going to be. That's a no-no, so that's why... I always mark where I want my closures to be. And you could have did that with a whole bunch of things, but of course I have these pencils and it makes it a little bit easier and I can always just wipe it off before I put my closure on. But that's pretty much it. And then also what I do off camera is I always thread my needle. So I have a needle already threaded and I also have one, two, three other needles on standby. I do that because it makes this process 10 times easier. Um, Another thing that you might want to do is take some clips. I always have these. I have like a my weave kit and I have it in a, um, a bag, but I have clips that look like this. There are different colors and what I do is I use these to clip the hair out of my way. So the first thing we're going to do to get started is I'm going to sew my closure on first. Um, I just think, think it's a lot easier for me. Um, it makes the process a lot easier and I know exactly where I want my tracks to be and how much space I need to go around the closure and I use those clips to hold the hair in place. So let me just show you what I'm going to be doing. Sorry. It's hard to film and sew and all that stuff at the same time and I, I guess you guys understand that, right? So what we're going to do. Make sure I put my mannequin head in the right spot. Also, too, just while I'm thinking about it, this stone cap has some sole details on the side. And this is what I use to help me um, know where my closure is going to be. You see, this is the ear of the mannequin. When I put this on my head, I make sure that my ear is between this little stitch. Okay? So, see, this is the front of my ear. My closure starts right at the top. Just FYI, so you guys little tidbit anyway what we're going to do is I'm going to take this closure has lace on it and I'm going to try to take this middle part of my closure and put it directly over that white dot just like that okay so now I'm going to just hold my finger here And use this clip just to help me because I want to start to anchor my closure down. Now, typically, like you would use it and you would go up this way. I want the closure to lay flat. So I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to go the opposite way. So I'm going to go down when you sew. Let me move this over just a tad. I think that's better. Now, this is a very critical part of your wig or style <laughs> because if this is not sewn down neatly and flat, it's just going to throw the whole style off. It really is. So, take your time. If you want to sew on the rest of the hair extensions, you know, you're in a rush or something like that, that's fine. But make sure you take your time sewing down this closure because I want this to be flat. I don't want it to lift. And I'm not doing a double stitch. I'm just doing a basic loop. But I'm doing it very close together. So that's why I said make sure you take your time. And the needle that I'm using right now is actually a straight needle. I really don't like these that much. But I sold all of my curved needles. And I mean I used, I threaded them up so I can start the extension. 
And this is the only one I had left in my case, so this is what you gotta use. Again, use this to help you anchor. And then every couple stitches, just make sure your closure is in the right spot. Okay, so what you're gonna do, just keep going around with this this stitch. And then um, once I finish that, I'll come back and then we'll start to actually sew the hair extensions on. All right, so there it is. That is how the closure looks. Very simple. And all I'm gonna do now is Make sure that the closure is out of my way. Clip it up. And it is now time to sew the bottom. So as I said, I always um, kind of try to pre-make the needles. And this is the hair that goes with it. Now with this, because I'm not sure how long I'm going to keep this wig, I'm not going to cut the tracks. We all know that once you cut the tracks, the hair starts to shed. And because this is not like, you know, virgin or Indian hair, um, it kind of has a tendency to, to already shed anyway. So I'm not going to um, aggravate the hair by cutting it and making it shed even more than it may or may not already do. 